So in part 1 I install these cabinets onto these shelves. If you didn't see that video then make sure to check the description section and also there is a card in the upper right corner. Make sure to check that first. And in this video I'm going to complete this build. So starting off this build by leveling up all the cabinets and for that I am using this 3 feet long spirit level to make all the cabinets vertical. To align these cabinets I am using these wedges and place them underneath the cabinets to keep them vertical. Here you can see how I place all of them. Once everything has been square and level up, with the help of this multi-tool, I cut off the excess portion of the wedges and make them flush to the surface. Then I start the work to cover up the front portion of the concrete shelves. I cut out half inch thick piece of ply and glue them in between the shelves. I don't have enough clamps. So at some place I use 2 inch wide masking tape and use it to provide clamping pressure onto the strip to make a tight joint. The display shelf is also filled with half inch thick pieces of ply strips. Then I start doing the work onto the drawers. For the drawers I choose 3 quarter inch thick ply for side arms where I have to install the runners and half inch thick ply for the back and the front. They all cut down there are lots of pieces to stack them up then i call my magician friends to get me out of this trouble Then I again move on to my table saw and cut out rabbits from all of the pieces. Later on I cut the rabbits on half inch thick ply as well so that drawer bottom can fit inside that and keep the drawer square. To join the drawer I use this belt clamp to keep the side square and then screw them Then I cut down the drawer bottom. For the smaller drawers I use quarter inch thick piece of ply and for the bigger one I use half inch thick ply for the base. Initially my plan was to install half inch thick ply for all of the drawers but then I changed the plan and go for the quarter inch thick ply for some of the smaller drawers.
I install the edge bending onto the drawer sides. For that, I'm using glue on edge bending rather than iron on edge bending because it isn't available here. To glue this edge bending, I use this special adhesive to glue it onto the edges. This glue dries quite fast and make a tight bond instantly so there will be no need to apply additional force. But if your edges are uneven, then you might need to use the painter's tape to apply the adequate pressure onto the edge bending. Once all of the work is done and glue dries, I trim off the excess with the help of sharp block plane. In work like this, block plane is quite useful to use. To install the runners into the cabinet, I made this jig so that I can place the runners in level and at equal distance. Then I place the runners onto the jig and clamp it onto the side walls of the cabinet where I need to install the drawers, drill some pilot holes and screw it up. After installing the guides into the cabinet, I install the channels onto the drawer sides so that it will be fitted up into those cabinets. And they all are working great as expected. Then I start doing work onto the wardrobe front. For that I choose 3 quarter inch thick piece of ply. Then I lay all the pieces onto the laminate, transfer the line, cut it with the help of carbide scriber, break it down to the usable piece and then starting the gluing process of the wardrobe fronts. After installing the edge bending also, here these fronts are look like. With the help of block plane, I trim down the excess edge bending and start the installation process. For the installation of the front, I'm using these pieces of edge bending to space them apart and with the help of glue gun, glue it temporarily and then clamp it and screw it permanently from the back side.
I repeat this process for all of the drawers. Then I cut down the edge bending for the front of the cabinets with the same material I use for the wardrobe front and cover all of the exposed edges of the wardrobe. Made this test installation onto the scrap piece and measure that distance at which I need to drill the holes for hinges. For this build I am using 15 degrees soft close hinges. Make sure to have the right orientation while marking onto the doors because if you mark it wrongly then you might get into trouble and it's not easy to fix that mistake. That's why I took some time and mark all the whole location. With the help of force nut bit I drill the holes for the hinges and then start the installation of the hinges. Then I mark the whole location onto the cabinet side, use the laminate piece as a spacer and screw the door with the sides. Here you don't need to be too much precise because you can fine tune the door with the help of screws provided onto the hinges. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of installing the mirror onto the cabinet, but I just simply glued the three and I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no 